Hold on. Money, bitches, hold on. Excuse me, my name, bitches, hold on. Money, bitches, hold on. Excuse me, my name, bitches, hold on. I just handle my business and roll out. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Mitch Fit coming at you with another video. You know, I don't do too much talking at the beginning. You know, let's get straight into it. Uh, so, y'all like when I speak about the no jumper fig community world, back on fig community, that whole little, that whole little, little world of podcasts, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so, let's get into it. So, basically, if y'all watch it, you know what I'm saying, y'all know, I believe it was last Friday, you know, uh, Back on Fig pretty much had like a No Jumper reunion, you know what I'm saying, a pr a pretty much a bunch of people that left No Jumper except for Flacco, you know what I'm saying, they had uh, Yuri, uh, House Phone, Pot Lord, shit, um, fucking everybody you know what i'm saying everybody that like uh, not everybody you know what i'm saying because uh sharp of course sharp decline uh lush picked the other side so he was on the uh the podcast he was on no jumper you know what i'm saying which was a horrible horrible podcast um suspect on there saying it was so good it was so bad that it was good no it was just bad that shit sucked you know what i'm saying it was hard to watch it was bad they was all drunk yeah, people throwing up, Lush throwing up. Corporator is the most horrible podcaster. The podcast, he's just, he's just on on that on that blow on that he's on that blow on that ice. You know what I'm saying? So he's always drugged up. So you know what I'm saying? And you know what? They need to do something about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting a little bit off subject, but they need to do some some shit about that on No Jumper. Like it. these motherfuckers be on there high as hell, brick baby, bruh. He be perked out his mind. Yeah, yeah, cuz. On hood. Like, that is horrible to watch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lush, he just started back on the on the drugs. He, you know what I'm saying? That 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 looked bad. You know what I'm saying? You got a suspect. I ain't even seen him with a cup in a long time, so shout out to him. Um, and his sobriety, if, he's, if that's what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, so they had these podcasts Friday. So they had the No Jumper reunion on Back on Fig, and then on uh, on No Jumpers podcast, they had Cooperator, like I said. They had Lush, even though Lush was invited to Back on Fig, and they had this dude, Bees. Bees is a former, uh, I don't even think he was a part of the Apollo, but he was a guest on the Apollo. You know, he was trying to secure his spot on the Apollo, which didn't work out you know what i'm saying to me he's a he, he's a bit strange you know and the way he looked on no jumper uh his first pod his first pod was horrible you know what i'm saying it was just bad podcasting at its finest you know what i'm saying but the biggest topic i want to talk about and why i get so much downplay is like the real reason why adam 22 accidentally put house phone on blast about the transgender thing you know what i'm saying Let, let's talk about the real reason why he put house phone on blast let's talk about how he gets so insecure when it's talked about that house phone knocked his wife down now at first i thought it was one time and keep in mind, House Phone don't even, like, speak about this very much. You know what I'm saying? But this is the first time they try to downplay it and then skip it real quick. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. We know, we know it bothers you. It bothers you. It bothers you. Because he didn't... I thought, you know what I'm saying, that he knocked her down, like, one time. And it was a one-time thing, you know. He knocked your wife down multiple times. He said, oh, yeah, she used to go to my apartment and everything. That bothers you, bro. I don't care how much uh, of the of the sex industry you do now, uh, cause cause that hits close to home. That's your homeboy. You know what I'm saying? And then he knocked your wife down, and then you gotta see him every every time he come up there, every time he come to work. What up, bro? And he didn't slung the pipe to your wife. I know it bothers you. I mean, he could kind of act like it don't, 
you know, try to skip over it in conversation, but that ain't something you just skip over. We see it and we see that it bothers you. We get it. We get it, bro. We get it. But uh, T-Rail knew what he was doing too. T-Rail, you slick motherfucker. He said, uh, he said, uh, yeah, because, uh, you know, um, it almost happened or something like that. And uh, House Phone say, almost. No, it happened. And multiple times. So I always thought that even back then, even when, because Pot Lawyer think he's slick. Pot Lawyer is the one that put it out there. Let's be honest. Pot Lawyer is the one that put it out there. Nobody would have knew. Nobody would have had an inkling. They talking about the Reddit. No. Pot Lawyer was always um, insinuating it on the cool. And he wasn't very good at insinuating it because he wanted to get at him. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to get at him. Ah, bars. You know what I'm saying? Um, but he wanted to get at him. You feel me? So, that's just it. It is what it is, bro. And then as far as uh, that Friday podcast, that shit was horrible. He talking about it wasn't a competition. I'm, I'm glad it wasn't because that shit was fucking horrible. You know what I'm saying? And uh, back on figure was fire. And the last... Um, the last pod that Back on Fig did uh, with just T-Rail, you know, Heather stepped in there for a little bit. Heather's crazy as shit, you know what I'm saying? She's a woman, you know, they don't hold their tongue. They crazy, you know. She makes me cringe sometimes, you know, with some of the stuff she say. And I know some of the stuff she says, uh, T-Rail, like, try to put that zipper on it. Like, hey, bro, you saying too much, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know how that, I go through the same thing with my wife, bro. They just, you know, they want to be a part of something. I feel it. I could dig it. But, you know, you got to, she got to do that shit over there, kind of. You feel what I'm saying? He got to put a, a leash on it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I know women are women, and women do have their rights to do whatever they want to or say whatever they say. They got rights just like we do. But when it comes to do business, it's do business. When it comes to women business, I kind of stay out of that. And that's what I think t Rell should do. Um that would be the best bet for him and Heather because it's going to get a little messy. You feel what I'm saying? But that's another subject. I'm just rambling, you know, but I want y'all, I want uh, to know what y'all think. Do y'all think that House Phone knocking down Lena, Lena is, uh, does it bother Adam? Is that the reason why he put out what he put out about um, House Phone? Um, and I want to know, uh, yeah. And what do y'all think about that that Friday podcast? You know what I'm saying? What do y'all think about the no jumper with, man? I just want to, did y'all enjoy watching it or did y'all like, y'all thought it was shitty? Because me, I just thought it was horrible. I watched like a few minutes and I turned that shit off, man. But hey, man, before I leave, hey, subscribe, 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 like, like, like. Hey, because we trying to get them subscribers that way. Mitch Fit, I'm out.